Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. Welcome to Always Forever Creations. My name is Stephanie, and if you are new, welcome. I hope you will subscribe. In today's video, I need to make some thank you cards because I recently had my birthday and people have given me beautiful gifts. So, yeah, I am out of thank you cards in my stash too, so... That is what we are doing today. I have too many ideas, so I feel like I don't have any idea of what I want to do. Um, but I have my, um, I have a couple of my scrap bins out. I have my little ephemera stuff in here. Oh, there's some clustery things in here. Yeah, so maybe something in there will help. I did cut some card bases and I did start stamping out some thank yous. My first idea was like making little thank you clusters and I almost thought about just putting them on a blank white card, but that might look too plain. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes. Not really sure where to begin. Well, I think I'm gonna begin with these pieces cause they are the most recent scrap bits that I have made. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about my design. Um, especially these little thank yous are too small if you put them on a card with nothing else on it, it's a little small. I have this lady. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I, but yeah, my first idea was just make little clusters like this and then maybe put them on the card, maybe have some like washi tape behind it, but it's just a blank white card. <laughs> I do like this little cluster though, so I'm just gonna glue it together. And we're, we're just gonna organically build this, I guess, and see what happens. Let's make our little thank you clusters because that part I'm slightly sure about that I want to do. Hopefully that will stick. Oh, should I get some ribbon? Or yeah, we can add some ribbon or something. I don't know. <laughs> How are you all doing? I hope all is well, sorry crafting and talking will I ever get used to it will it ever feel natural I hope you all are well it is the weekend for me so I have to go get a new toothbrush today I dropped my toothbrush in the sink and then that was it it was like I'm done <laughs> it would not turn back on <laughs> kind of Kind of funny. So I think with some color, maybe this could be good. I'm trying to hide, I have a lot of um, labels that are cut off because I made them bigger than they were supposed to be. So like the center ones were big and full, but all the outer ones were cut off but I can put this on the edge of something, of a card. That could work. Do you want some color though? And maybe some tearing. Hmm. <laughs> I like this 
And then I think maybe I'll put some washi tape, some very thin washi tape over that. All right, let's, let's see if we can just stick glue in here. It doesn't have to be glued down perfectly. So yeah, I know we're gonna go get a new toothbrush. I'd like to go to the gym. And then I have my crafting session with my friend tonight. That's always super fun. Okay. I did not pull out my washi tapes. Okay. Or ribbons. We'll add ribbon later. These are the th thinnest ones I have, I think. Ooh, unless we want Harry Potter glasses. Does it make sense? Nope, but I like it. <laughs> I actually use this one a lot and it's like, it's little, um, it's Harry Potter's glasses and his scar. Can you see that? Yeah, I use it a lot. I like it. I use it a lot more on like more personal things because it is kind of random to put on, you know, somebody's card that's, you know, if it's not Harry Potter themed, but it works. Okay, washi tape, you're kind of in the way. I don't know. Oh. Just sliding everything off the desk. I have gems and flowers and things I can add. I'm just gonna, I don't know. I keep trying to explain what I'm trying to do, but I have no idea. I'm just making this up as I go. <laughs> That's pretty. I like it. Um, I should probably, well, I can, I can probably make all the clusters. Maybe I won't get through making all, I have eight, eight card bases cut out. I only need one, two, three, four, maybe five, six. I need six. Maybe seven? I don't know. I guess it depends if, like, my grandma hasn't sent anything yet or my dad and stepmom haven't sent anything yet, but they usually do, so we'll see <laughs> if those come in. If those come in, then it is seven. So maybe I will need <laughs> all eight of them. <laughs> okay. That's pretty. We're off to a good start. This needs something else. I'm just pulling out of my, this is like scrapbook paper, scrap bin. And then um, over here I have like non-scrapbook paper scrap bin. This is like my junk, my junk journal scrap bin and then like my card making scrap bin. And I, I use both of them in both things. I just kind of keep them separated. My, my junk journal scrap bin needs help, but it is what it is for now. Oh, here's, um, do you like that together? Here's a nice little, uh, little piece. Ooh, that's pretty. I also has the back side. I need to stamp maybe a couple more of these too. Hmm. I actually like this with it better. I know I just used a lot of these papers in videos too, so I'm sorry. 
that you're kind of seeing the same things over and over, but that's kind of what happens, I guess, in paper crafting. If you want to use your scraps, um, so I start, I started, I was very proud of myself yesterday and then I really started thinking about it, but I started my very first hashtag yesterday and that was craft the clutter. And I talked about it a little bit in my last video, but then I was like having a hard time. Like, well, what is clutter? You know, I think to some people like everything I have in my craft room could be clutter um sorry trying to trying to see yes I like that okay um but like is it just the scraps that are called clutter or like I was kind of looking at as like little bits like this that I'm not really sure where to put them because it's not scrapbook paper. It's not, you know, just, it's, it's paper that's been altered in some way already. And I don't really have a place for that. I guess I could create one, but then it just kind of sits on my desk and never gets used or I'll print things and like, I'll only need one of them and then I have you know four more left and then it's like well where do I put that where I'll remember to use it and then again it just kind of sits on my desk and it clutters up the desk so it's kind of it's I I'm it's mine because I made the hashtag right craft the clutter but yeah I really need to like define what that is and then maybe I can really make it something <laughs> but yeah it's it was kind of funny because I was I was very proud of myself I was like oh I created a hashtag no one's done it yet <laughs> no one's used it okay I need I like contrasting color, I think. So an orange or maybe a green. Woo. Ooh. Ooh, I kind of like this. Okay. Um man, I did not set up my paper trimmer. Oh, and I do not have room. My desk is messed. There's just like inks everywhere. I need to get my daubers and my inks organized. I got the dauber storage. Now I just need to get it together. Okay. Oh, I need a place to put my paper trimmer too. I kind of... What do I want to do with it? I kind of, I see something. I like see something in this. I'm just going to kind of glue this all together and then try to figure this out. Like maybe I can run it through a die with like a half circle or something. I don't know. <laughs> this is what happens when you build organically. You can't stay on track with what you're doing. More things come out and you get more and more ideas, but that's good. You know, creating, doing always motivates more doing. And that's in anything. Crafting, exercising, just moving in general, cleaning, laundry, reading, I don't know, <laughs> everything. It kind of, the whole a body in motion stays in motion type thing. Okay. 
So I don't need, obviously I don't need all of this. Um, I wish this, I had moved over a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside because I'm thinking too much about it. Gotta keep going. I do need to stamp a couple more of these little ones here. Sorry, talking to myself. Okay, got those now. And I'm just gonna tear, although these are probably still wet. I'm just gonna set those aside for a minute. We'll work on this one. It is going fast, right, somewhat? Do we want to use a raven? Probably not. I don't think ravens say. I love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I have more of these flowers in here because I was too lazy to put them away. I should probably figure out a different solution for them. Like storage solution. Okay, I don't like the flowers on top of the thank you. That's pretty. All right, it needs some sort of background. Let's glue these together so they become one unit. Okay, might have glued it to the table. Let's see. What do we want a blue? My big scraps are color coordinated. My little ones are not. I did use this paper already for these. Um, let's see. Let's get a little deeper. I can't see. Okay. Do, 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 do. This is pretty. I don't know. It's so shiny. Yeah, we can use a piece of that, I think. This could be good. Oh, goodness. It's hard to make decisions. I don't like words on words on words I don't I, I have a hard time with that one I try but it doesn't usually end up being my favorite look okay well which one do you guys like better the shiny it does have a pattern I don't know if you guys can even see that see has a nice pattern on it. It's shiny. I think it looks nice with this. Or we have this lighter one. I like the deeper tone of this, I think. Gonna go. Gonna go with this one. Okay, I do need my paper trimmer. I didn't think I was gonna need it. Okay, well, that's a bummer. I cut this out and you can kind of see like impressions of other cuts that I made on the paper. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. I'm new to, to die cutting, so maybe that's like a normal thing that happens and you need to know how to protect your project from something like that happening. So I am still learning. And I did not know that was going to happen. Okay. Um, now we have 
this. I like it, it's pretty. Get some more glue under here. Okay, hopefully the glue will stick to the shiny. Sometimes it doesn't like to do that. Okay, what else do I got? I have an owl. A full label, this one's really pretty. use the smaller one um, ground espresso I just want to ink it because the background is very similar to this color okay give it a little bit of a defining edge and then I also feel like I should put something behind it. But what? Or I can just leave it like this. Do we want to use her? I do have one that's kind of already dressed up. This is a little big though. <laughs> we can do something similar because I think she'll fit on an A2. Yeah, but I don't know that this will. Ooh, just barely. I like it, but I also want more color <laughs> than what that's giving. Over there. What are you? You milled lavender. You are spun sugar. That's pretty. Now I need some pink. Ooh, I don't know if I have a lot of pink. Ooh, I have this. <gasps> it doesn't match, but does it, does it go? Can I get on board with this? not sure let me keep looking maybe there's something better it's more of a muted tone I know I want a more color but do I want bright color or because this is brighter for sure do I want something more muted what about this no not enough okay I gotta pull the bin back in have a bunch of Valentine's Day paper cut up that I never used. Maybe something could work. Love, love, love. Sorry, I was reading this paper. Okay. Not sure you guys could see that. Uh, I am not. Oh, my son. My son just, he got a cough out of nowhere. Poor thing. Okay, I'm going to finish this up. I got to go sit with my son. I don't know. He's, he's sitting on the couch. He's okay. He's just coughing a lot. Just give him some cough medicine. But... 
I'm sure you guys would be able to hear him. So I'm a sympathetic cougher. <laughs> so every time I hear someone cough, I need to cough too. It's bad. Okay. This is a little big, but I think I'm going to cut it to size to fit the card. So, um, I'm just going to leave it as is until I'm ready to put on the card. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Alrighty. Yes, so I will be back at some point, hopefully soon, hopefully today. Um, and we will get these finished up. I will see you in one moment. Okay, I am back. It is the next day, two days. I'm not entirely sure how long it's been. Um, but I had an idea, instead of just leaving my card base plain white, with just the cluster on it. I wanted to give the background some texture. Sorry, hit the table. Um, and my first thought was like an embossing folder. I think that would be a much easier way to go about this, but I only have one and it's like an ABC one. So it just really didn't make too much sense with the, <laughs> the thank you cards, plus like the letters on letters. Still trying to get used to that because you are gonna see a lot of it. So I thought I would stamp and do some embossing powder just to give a little bit of texture so it's not just a blank white card. Now, I have done some. I have two more to do and I am regretting it. <laughs> It is not going smoothly. The design is pretty, like, the the thought behind it is good. My execution, however, has not been great, but I will share my process anyway. <laughs> so I am using two different stamp sets from Tim Holtz. So one is the floral trims, and I do have my stamping platform out here and just trying not to give too much bad of a glare at the moment. And then stitches here, just to kind of make a background design. And then I am embossing it in bridal tinsel. Um, and I think this is Ranger. My label kind of got cut off here, but I am very sure this is a ranger product <clears throat> okay so to set this up um i i'm realizing a grid on the bottom here would be nice anyway i just taped my card base down here the tape underneath because that makes more sense. Probably need a new piece of tape. Okay, come on. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I just, because this was too big to kind of have the, the card base up in the corner, like this wouldn't have sat right, but then I needed a way to kind of consistently line every card base up because again I'm making eight of these okay so that was kind of the first issue I had I think I remedied that decently well the next issue I was having so I'm using embossing ink distress embossing ink from Ranger and Tim Holtz the next issue I was having was I could not get an even like pressure to get the stamp to 
um, to stamp. And I don't know if like there is inconsistencies in the thickness of the stamp. But that was the trouble I was having a lot. So the, the main points was this middle flower and the knot here. I don't know if my ink pad's running out of ink. I feel like I haven't used it that much. And I don't know if I can re-ink that. <laughs> my son is not feeling well. He's coughing. He doesn't really have a fever, but the, the cough is really bothering him. So he's laying down on the couch watching TV and my husband and daughter went to the store. See, I don't even think that center of the flower stamped at all. It's very frustrating. Sorry. I know you can now hear the frustration in my voice. <laughs> so these have kind of been coming out like it is what it is. I cannot... I really don't know how to fix it. So I'm going to try to do this one really quick and then pour together. I don't know if that's going to work. I just think the amount of pressure I had to get to do that was just ridiculous. And I've also been making a mess with this stuff. It is everywhere. I think I need to invest in a handheld vacuum for my craft room if I'm gonna keep up with this embossing powder stuff. <laughs> There's so much glitter on the floor right now. I also forgot to powder these with the anti-static powder. Okay, but it, it is pretty. Okay, now we heat and boss. The amount of glitter on the floor right now is alarming. So other issues I was having was um, I was having a hard time telling when the product had actually melted and I had rubbed away some of the areas on accident because I thought it was melted, but it wasn't. So this one, yeah, really did not get any kind of stamping. There is a huge hole in the design and then there's a hole in this one here. So, yeah, um, I like the technique of embossing, but to do multiples of the same design, it's, that's a little difficult. I did do it for some invitations. And like I had my Cricut write out words and then I embossed those and that wasn't too bad because I could have it write out a full sheet and then I just kind of dumped and went along through all of them and then went and heated all of them. So that it wasn't too bad. I made about 30 of those, but I don't know why this was giving me so much trouble and it made me not want to do it. <laughs> just doing the eight was, ugh. And I know that's not like encouraging and that's what, what I want to, to be is someone that encourages you to craft. But yeah, sometimes things just don't go the way you think they're gonna go and it's frustrating and that's real life, so. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna go through all of these and um, you know, build on all of them. Whoa, this one is almost too big. But 
just so you kind of get the idea of what I was thinking. And then like this is pretty and it can always be added on. I think thank you cards, I tend to make them a little bit simpler. Maybe that's why I'm getting so frustrated <laughs> with the embossing stuff because that was not simple, but they tend to be red and oh, that's sweet. And then they kind of just, you know, get tossed, <laughs> I'm assuming. So I always try to make thank you cards a little bit simpler. I people, some people will hang on to birthday cards. Some people won't, but thank you cards. I think people just kind of set them aside usually. But I mean, still, I might go and add some, I don't know, some, there's a lot of sparkle in it. I don't know. I don't know if I will add more like flat back pearls or gem type things, or I don't think I'm going to add any ribbons, ribbons or lace. I feel like this one might be missing something, but then you do have a couple of these that already have the shine. They have some sparkle on them, sparkle in the flowers. So I think some are good as is, and then others, yeah, maybe might need like a little flat, flat back pearl or um, gem or something. Does that make sense? I don't know what you guys can see. Sorry, I'm just kind of laying them all out and seeing which ones work best with like ones that, you know, kind of lost the, the design a little bit. Yeah, so am I going to pop these up? I think I am going to pop them up off the, the design too. So they are really pretty though, right? I think so. I feel like this was like a craft with me moment and now I'm like, I'm just like really wanting to, I'm just going to finish these up and show you guys the, the end result. Like, cause my son is sick. He keeps coming in here and, and I feel, I feel bad. I'm just, but I need to get these done and out, but I want to be able to give you guys a video as well. But I do really like the white on white and kind of like playing around with a Christmas card design. Maybe that's just like all snowy white. I think it could be really pretty. I'm gonna, gonna try to figure that out. Okay, I am gonna pop these all up and then if I decide to add more to some of them, I will bring you back and we'll work on that but i think you guys have the concept down of putting foam tape on the back of something and sticking it down so you don't necessarily need to see that full process and again i don't i don't have much to talk about at the moment because I'm also trying to pay attention to my son. So yes, I am going to pop these all up. It takes time to peel every square and whatnot. And then I'll be back to put on any final touches. And then of course, show you all the designs that we have as well. I will see you in one moment. Okay. I got <clears throat> all of these stuff down and I did vacuum a little bit. <laughs> I feel like there's still glitter everywhere though. So some of these I am going to just leave as is like these because they already have shine and glitter to them. What I would have done differently, I think I would have inked every edge of the thank yous. They're just kind of falling flat for me, but that's okay. So, that one, this one, I'm going to set aside this one. I'm not sure. 
Sorry, I moved my desk. I don't think that needs anything. So I think just these maybe I will add, especially this one. I don't know why this one specifically is just feeling plain. But yes. Actually, I am going to add a flower to this one, I think. Yeah, I like how that looks. I might need my hot glue gun for that. And it is not here right now. Uh, maybe fabric tack will work just fine. Okay. So I pulled out flowers. I pulled out some pearls and then some gems here. And stringy. Have to hold this for a minute. Do, 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 do. Okay, I like that. I feel like I'm a little hold on. Oh dear. Okay, not gonna mess with it. Sorry, I like moving my camera. Um I like this. I think this one is done. Okay, this one needs help. I'm just not sure what. Don't. Oh, all three of those could be nice. I think I have, yeah, I could do. Could you that? Let's see if these will stick on their own. Kind of old. Oh dear. I think I need to move this one over. Oh, it definitely stuck. Oh no! I ripped the paper. Okay, we'll just move you over because you're not stuck down yet. <laughs> okay. Good, we're good. Okay. Now, let's see. Does it need the top ones? No, I'm just going to leave the bottom. I think that's much better. Just a little extra something. Okay, this one, I think it's gonna be kind of hard to add to it because you have this pretty design in the frame and I don't really wanna cover any of that up. Maybe I should just leave this one as is or maybe, maybe some some washi just switch one buttons music harry potter again sorry yawning just kind of yeah oh that did not stick but I think that's what I'm going to do just for a little extra something. Let's see, I want very fine dab of glue. Okay, I can't put that away with my left hand. <laughs> Get this. Kind of peeking out the bottom there, not too much. And get this. Okay. All right. I think that is good. I know some of these are very, very simple, but I am okay with that. And 
hope that is a strip. Take non strip ones. Just because I don't have my scissors next to me. There. And then. Um, maybe a few down here. I kind of like that look. There we go. Okay, that is it for today's video. This challenged me a lot more than I thought it ever would or could. Um, but I think they are so pretty. I love the background as, as you know, pain it was to do it. I really do love how these turned out. And the thank you clusters were fun to make. <sighs> but yes, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel inspired and motivated and you get some good crafting time in today. If you are new and you are still here, I hope you will consider subscribing and liking and commenting. I love hearing from you guys. Again, thank you so much for being patient. I think there was a little frustration put into this video and I do appreciate you guys being here and supporting my channel. Thank you again. Let's get together again soon.